Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we are going to cover how to solve an equation using the square root property. So I'm going to solve two different types of equations here. Suppose the first one is x plus 2 squared is equal to 25. And suppose that the second one is x squared minus 25 equals 0. So the way the square root property works is you want to get your square, whatever your square may be, whether it be x squared or x plus 2 squared, you want to get it by itself on the left side. Once that's done, in this case it's done, what you can do is you can square root both sides. The reason for that is because when you square root a square, the square root and the square will cancel out. They are opposites of each other. And then you're left with just x plus 2. Now, of course, like I said, you want to square root both sides because no matter what you do to the left side, you must do it to the right side. And what is the square root of 25? A lot of people will say 5. But the truth is, it can be 5 or negative 5 because negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. So that is how the square root property works. That is the idea behind it. You want to take the square root of a square and that will leave you with whatever is inside. All right, so now this will give us two separate equations. We'll get one of them, which is x plus 2 equals 5, and another one, which is x plus 2 equals negative 5. And we can solve for each one by simply subtracting by 2. And we get that x equals 3 and x equals negative 7. That is the first case. Now for the second case, this one's actually even easier. Like I said, you want to get your x squared by itself. No matter what is squared, you just want to get that square by itself on the left side. So let's go ahead and add the 25 to both sides so we can have only x squared on this side, which we now have. And now when you have only the square, you can square root both sides. And now the square root will cancel out the square. We'll be left with just x, which is exactly what we want. We want to have x equals. And the square root of 25, once again, is plus or minus 5. So this will be your answer for this equation. So that is how you solve equations using the square root property. Hope this made sense. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and have a good day.